there were two plays in particular that uh, really hurt us. Um, seven point play early on in the first half. Uh, when our player uh, pushed uh, one of their players going in from behind, and that's a flagrant foul. They, they scored seven points in that, in that couple of possessions right there. And then uh, second half, uh, Wood uh, made a three and knocked in the free throw. He was fouled. And, you know, it's a seven-point play and a four-point play. That's 11 points right there in two particular plays that, uh, you know, just can't have. Um, but it's a hard-fought game. Our guys did a lot of good things in, the, in this game. Uh, um, they made shots. We made shots. They made more shots. Questions? Because I thought when you had a chance to set up in your defense, you were pretty good today. Where State would hurt you was on their fast break a lot when they got it out and ran. No question. They, uh, uh, you know, our calculations show about 34 transition points because we calculated different than what you would see here. They have 19 fast break points. Well, we had 34 transition points. And, and, and there was a period there in that first half where we didn't get back well at all. And they were able to uh, it fuel their offense with their transition, no question. So it was a combination of those particular plays and our transition defense, our lack of transition defense there for uh, a few minutes, particularly in that first half. No question. Jeff, I had them going on four different runs. One was 12 0, one was a 20 to 4, one was a 13 to 2, and one was 11 to 2. It was transition a lot with that, but it was just yeah. laps. It was laps concentration on, on your defensive part. Or what you you know, they that twelve zero run. Well, that one, the seven, the seven point play was yeah. part of it. Right. Okay, and right. and uh, uh, our radio people told us that uh, you take away those those runs, and we outscored them by nineteen. So, yeah, it, it's uh, it, we. They had too many runs on us, and. Um, as I watch the film, I know on this bus ride home, I'll see that it, it, we just can't have three guys getting back in transition. It's got to be all five guys sprinting back in transition, and that's been, you know, that's something we work on. And not only do we have to sprint back, but we have to be smart in how we get back. We have to corral the ball. We have to load up on the strong side, and and, and, and it's not about finding your man. It's about stopping the ball and scrambling and communicating. It's all those kinds of things. Uh, there were also a couple times in transition where we did miss some shots, you know. I mean, I remember Travis missed a corner three, for example, and, you know, when that's happening and you're running and you're pushing and it was a good look, but you miss it, now now your balance is not what it should be. So all those kinds of things add up. How, how effective was NC State with the screen work and Scott getting open the three-pointers? Well, um, you know, they've got some big bodies, big wide bodies in there that are veteran guys that, that take up a lot of space. Um, you know, and, but at the same time, we've been working on it ourselves, and we got our guys open too. But, you know, Wood, uh, uh, he, he, he's got length, and he has a very quick release. Um, and, and he was stroking it today. Let's give him credit. You know, it's a lot, you know, it's, Let's be honest, guys, you've all been around this league for a long time, and you know basketball. I mean, sometimes the, the offense is better than the defense. You know, you're, you're there, but sometimes it, guys are good players, and they're in this league for a reason. Coach, with the new conference scheduling that came out yesterday, you're going to be seeing NC State more than anyone on a year-in, year-out basis. Do you have any thoughts on that, not seeing Carolina and Duke, but maybe once a year? Uh, we'll see them. You know, I mean, it, 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 it's uh, – I just think it's great for basketball with the, with the area and you know, everybody's so close to one another. I mean, it's it's all good. So it's all good. Jim, it looked like you tried pretty much different people on Scott Wood. Did you go through th three or four different defenders? <coughs> yeah, we did. You know, let's just give them credit. I mean, I, again, I, I think we live in such a negative society. It's like what you didn't do. You know what? Give people credit. So what were some of the positives compared to the last game? Well, we shot 50%. You know, we had five guys in double digits, scored 76 points. Last time we only scored 40. And to be quite frank, we didn't compete very well last game. So there's a lot to, uh, 
be positive about, and that's the way I am. I'm not a negative person, and uh, uh, I look at the glasses half full, and we've got some good young players gaining valuable experience. We've got a heck of a recruiting class coming in, and so we move forward. Any other questions? Coach Sir? Travis and uh, Chase both said that you guys were drilling into their head that last defeat, the 36 point, and uh, defeat back at home, and you guys bouncing back from that and showing that, you know, you could give a better effort. Can you just talk about that, that mentality coming into this game and how much that played a role in the effort that you guys showed today? You know what? There's an old statement, an old saying in the NBA. You give, re you, you, uh, you give respect by showing no respect. You give respect by showing no respect. And you all can figure out how, how, you know, what that phrase really means. But the last time we played NC State, we did, we did not respect them because we didn't play hard and we didn't compete. That's a heck of a statement for a coach to make, but that's the truth. I mean, it, you know, it's just like, it, it, it's just like, I remember Michael Jordan saying one time um, that, that, you know, he's had some rookies play him where they didn't, they didn't want to touch him. You know, they, 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 they feared him and, and they didn't even guard him. And Michael said, you, you know, you're not even respecting me because you won't compete against me, you see. Uh, and, but if you get somebody out there that's just battling and giving everything you got, and still you come up short, you know what? Doesn't your opponent respect you? So you give respect by showing no respect. You go out there and you battle. Thanks, guys. Thank you.